There he was, blubbering in my office again. If there was no such thing as common decency between homo sapiens, I'd toss this schmo like a salad for getting on my last good nerve. My wife, she's been missing for three days. She said something about the big read before she left. She took my whole baseball card collection. She doesn't even like baseball. You know the drill, buddy. The client slapped a stack of dead presidents into my palm. Only these weren't the elected officials I expected. Taft? Van Buren? It didn't matter. Something told me this might be connected to the unsolved Maltese Falcon case. Look, this is a bigger deal than you know. The old Hamptons Reed gang is in on this deal, and, uh, I'll be riding the pines if Coach Brock finds I have this little chit-chat with you. Do yourself a favor. Get yourself a library card. If I was going to get anywhere, I'd have to check out a copy of Dashiell Hammett's The Maltese Falcon. The Forbes, Lilly, Southampton, East Hampton, and West Hampton library stacks were packed with copies of the thing. It was some kind of public library conspiracy. So it turned out National Endowment for the Arts, Arts Midwest, Florence Bank, East Hampton Savings Bank, Broadside Bookshop, and the Friends Group of each library were bankrolling the whole operation. Now I needed answers like a donut needs sprinkles. <sighs> Say, what's the big idea, gumshoe? Watch your lips, sleeping beauty. I've got business here and you wouldn't want to be around during open hours. You might get book slapped. All right, all right. I heard the racket is in place somewhere to promote reading and literacy, as well as spark community discussion. Well, that's all I know, I swear it. You better not be goofing with me, hotshot, or I'll make you disappear like chocolate pudding in an all-you-can-eat buffet. That wasn't my finest. You got your point across. I felt threatened. I got a hot tip that if I attended one of the book discussions, I could score a free ticket to the Maltese Falcon screening at the Academy of Music. The book really surprised me. I've got to say, I really identified with the Sam Spade curve, though. Just to remind you, Phyllis, one more time, the cheese puffs are for everybody. Anyone else? Time to bring the book back, Marlo. Wouldn't want a late fee, would you? It's been two minutes. Forgotten about your wife already, Blondie? I don't have a wife, but I do have this Maltese Falcon. Shazam! Another case in the books. To celebrate the occasion, I thought I'd treat myself to an afternoon at the pictures. Yeah, me and that Sam Spade are two of a kind. Thank you.